Um, I don't know. Are you a fan of uh, Brian Fuller? Yeah, I, th I think, it, and I know where you're headed, headed with this. Uh, Brian Fuller has done some actually really good things um, be before. He has, um, got, I think, it, I'm correct in saying he's most, maybe most done recently for Hannibal, um, yeah. right, which was a very well done show, um, a show that nobody really thinks is dead yet. Um, but he is um, associated with that show. And now the show he was going to be a part of looks like uh, he's he's off. Yeah, it looks like they're still going to do it, but not with him. Yeah, so, what's, what's the show? We haven't referenced it yet. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't said yet. Um, there have been plans in the works for a Friday the 13th prequel series, mm -hmm. which at least uh, had the working title Crystal Lake. Um, and I don't know. I don't know how people feel about that. You know, it's like potentially, well, we're going to see uh, Jason before he was Jason, that sort of thing. And Yeah, the teenage uh, boy version of, of, of him and his mother go around killing campers i guess yeah well maybe i don't know i mean like as we referenced previously on the podcast we watched bates motel and that was good so like there's yes. definitely a chance brian fuller's attached all right now you piqued my interest personally you know not just from hannibal before that um pushing daisies i thought it was a great show also canceled you know and that's the thing brian fuller his shows just always get canceled and so I don't know, maybe the network execs are, are wary of that. And I just can't help but have this feeling like, oh, man, he probably had a really cool idea for this series. And that's yeah. why they, they got rid of him because they thought it was too risky or something. Yeah, maybe taking it as a, a, a certain direction that you did. I, I see this right. They're putting it on Peacock, right? So I guess they have some sort of sentimentality or something that they have to keep keep track of to be able to. You know, we can't just go full on gore this show. We can't go, you know, I don't it know. All, it was always very striking to think about the fact that Hannibal was on NBC. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hannibal was on NBC. <laughs> like, people might not even realize this if you're watching it streaming or something now. But it was on NBC. I think they put it at like 10 p.m. Yeah. yeah. And you, know, you watch that show, you go, like, whoa, this is, this is, there's some dark stuff going on in, <laughs> in Hannibal. I loved Hannibal. I thought it was great. So who knows, you know, I guess at this point, the Friday the 13th prequel series is still in production, but it doesn't have a showrunner. Yeah, yeah. So that's another thing to keep an eye out for. Do yeah, they get a new showrunner? And, you know, it's definitely possible at this point it ends up getting scrapped. Yeah, his, his exact words were um, on his Instagram post. A24 has elected to go a different way with the material. So not that it's been scrapped, not that it's been canceled, not that it's on the shelf, but they're moving in different directions. So maybe with some delays, this is still coming. But yeah, I mean, he makes a good point in this post that the person attached to this is going to really set the tone and make it what, what it is. You know, yeah. the actors, I'm sure they'll be great and they'll be fine. But who can adapt this or create a story that's interesting enough to make a prequel worth watching? That really matters in a show like this. Yeah, and I also saw something where he said, you know, a TV show is a collaborative project. It's one thing to have a vision. People have to be invested into it and so on yeah. and so forth. So it very much read to me like he had an idea of what <laughs> yes. he wanted to do with this show. And it's come to a point where probably, and I'm speculating, yeah, the network heads, whatever muckety mucks are saying, you know what, Brian, that's too weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's just a guess, but I mean, based on his previous work and so on and so forth, uh, uh, a grounded guess, yeah. as it were, right? That he got and, and and too I weird think, with it. I think the, the why this may be so disappointing when I when I read this is, I, I maybe in my mind I thought these streamers were a pathway to let some of these people do the more off the wall creative, don't have to confine it to the 21 minutes and 42 second format, you, you know, and let them have these ideas. The people that are creative storytellers, people that are good storytellers, let them do that. But where there still sort of seems like they're put in a box sometimes. I, we don't know the details here, but there certainly were some creative differences of why this happened. Yeah, we're definitely veering into speculation about it. But anyway, yeah. best of luck to Brian Fuller. Best of luck to the Friday the 13th prequel series.